Hello! How is everybody today? Nice to see you. Um, so hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about this today because as, uh, as I showed you yesterday, it came in from the printers and now I've got a, a few of them and, uh, and it comes out in a couple of weeks. But I wanted to tell you something about this because um, as you will know, those of you who have been reading Funny Kid, uh, in the back of a Funny Kid book, I ask you to email me. I ask you to email me and tell me what you think. And I especially ask you to email me and tell me uh, kind of which Funny Kid book is your favourite uh, and which character you like best. And heaps of you do that. And, and I listen to you. Uh, like, I ask you for a reason. The reason that I ask you is because it gives me ideas when thinking about new ones. And the story with this Funny Kid book is that heaps of you over the last few years have told me that your favourite character is Duck. Okay? And I thought it would be good to give Duck his own book. Okay? So it's still a normal funny kid book, but the story centres around Duck. Often Duck is kind of in the background, helps a bit, uh, and stuff like that, and, uh, and is kind of Max's sidekick a little bit. Well, this story centres right around Duck. And, uh, and so let me read you the back, and I'll tell you. Every kid wants to laugh, but Max is the boy who can make it happen. When his friends start questioning his bravery, Max and his pet duck must come up with a plan to prove them wrong. There's only one problem. Duck has disappeared. Max is the funny kid, and now he's lost his duck. The family road trip from hell, a dares competition, the tower of dying deathly doom, and a dancing motorcycle gang called the Fat Skulls are just some of the things in store for Max and his friends in this brand new Funny Kid Adventure. Uh, here you go, here's some of, you can see some of the characters on the back here. There's Hugo, Abby, Mum and Dad are in this one a fair bit. We know Rosie, crazy baby. And for some reason, there's a police officer chasing their car. And see, and you know that when you start a funny kid book, Max usually talks to you right at the front. But look, Duck is taking over. To the point that he even ruins the title page. <laughs> funny Duck. There you go, there's a whole other series. So um, I wanted to show you that. Uh, and let you know that, hey, if you want to get, obviously we're all kind of locked inside at the moment and everything is weird, okay? Uh, but if you want to get this, um, ask your mum and dad if they can order it from your local bookstore, okay? Uh, at the moment, local bookstores, like your local bookstore if you've got one, are doing it pretty tough because no one can really go into shops. But lots of them are sending the book, like you can order it over the phone and they will post it to your house, okay? Uh, and that kind of helps our local bookstores in this um in this weird virus season um so uh that's a great way to do it otherwise you can pre-order it you can order the book now and it'll come on the day that it comes out on the 20th of april um you can also order it from a place like booktopia uh, unfortunately at the moment this is for australia and new zealand only okay uh the book will come out later in uh, in other countries um also i right now i'm writing the next one okay i'm writing the next funny kid book so over the next few days and weeks I'm going to take you with me on the process of how I make a funny kid book and we might talk a bit more about that tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, but funny kid Beaking Duck, uh, I really hope you like this one. This one has been really, really fun uh, and it made me laugh a lot uh, in writing it, which is weird because I'm sitting in here by myself laughing to myself. Have a wonderful day. It's really nice to see you. Bye.